guys, this isn't going as well as planned. It's supposed to be running. family welcome back to the channel my name is motors and this is my jeep next today we're about to head down to the shop and pick up uh, one of our cars that we've had in the shop for uh, oh, probably about four or five months now it's a uh, 86 volkswagen cabriolet my wife and i had one of these uh way back in the day uh it was an 84 and uh, we blew the motor on it or i did i guess uh and we never found another one until uh about several years ago, I was looking for one and I looked and looked and looked for about five or six years and then we found this one in California. So we picked it up and we've had it for a little while but we've never really driven it a lot because it needed just a little bit of work and I'm more of an American car guy and haven't uh, played too much with the uh, engine components uh, of a foreign vehicle. So just finally decided just to take it in and, and have somebody uh, do it right uh that way uh by the time the fall hits and the weather's good we can put the top down and go out and play so i'm gonna head down there right now we're gonna see about getting this thing picked up and uh i'll bring you along all right um as i'm heading down to the uh shop to pick up the volkswagen uh, i've been meaning to share a few of the little uh advantages or, or uh neat little tricks that the uh taser the mini taser jl also offers you uh, alongside of the main reason I got it to uh, change the uh, uh, speedometer to match the tire size. One of the other features is when you turn your turn signal on, you can turn your uh, rear view camera on, but you can also turn it on manually. Check this out. So while I'm towing, I can also see what's going on with my trailer. I think that's pretty cool. All right. Let's get on the road. Okay, so I went inside, paid the bill. They put it up on a lift for me so I could see the uh, fuel line that is discontinued that I figured I could you know, deal with myself instead of it sitting down at the shop. So we brought it around. I started the car. It ran. Every time I step on the gas, it would die. After about three or four tries at this, I thought, what in the world is going on? I just saw him drive it around the building. I went inside, came out, and this is what's happening. As you can see, the look on my face, remain calm, remain calm, remain calm. <laughs> well guys, this isn't going as well as planned supposed to be running I know it still had a small fuel leak in the back but not enough to really cause any issues and now I can't even get it uh, uh, to go under its own power up the ramp it won't move it just dies so they're working on it see if I can get it home or if they're gonna get to keep it Let's see what happens Now that I'm in a hurry, because I have to return this trailer, I didn't get to set my camera back up, 
to film driving it up on the ramp. But you know what that looks like. All right, you guys, we got it running. Runs good, got it on the ramp. Turns out the problem was it was basically out of gas. And since there's a small fuel leak back there on a discontinued hose, it wasn't able to build up enough pressure to uh, feed the car. So we got it running, get it home, we'll get it unloaded, and I gotta get this trailer back. So we'll get back to you. you guys we got her home i gotta get her parked in front of the house gotta get this trailer back but hey thanks for going along with me today if you like what you're seeing click and subscribe tell your friends about me and we'll see what else we can do with this next all right we'll see you next time